I'm blessed to have two amazing girls. Every child is a scientist because they approach the world for the scientific mindset. They ask questions naturally and they've awoken my excitement for looking into biology without any filters. If we can cultivate that kind of attitude as scientists, we will do well. We are molecular biologists who are trying to understand how the cell maintains its own genetic information and how we can modify that genetic information to cure genetic diseases. Go back to early 2000s and we finished a draft human genome. That opened up this whole new world of possibilities in terms of understanding the nature of disease. But the next step in that evolutionary journey from being able to read our own genetic fate is to be able to take our genetic fate into our own hands. And that's where the gene editing revolution is so exciting. Now we can read the genome and we can change the genome, understanding how cells maintain their genetic information and being sure we can safely edit genes. These are the two main research topics in my lab. When he tells me different things that he's doing, it, you know, I say, wow, that's terrific. And then he tells me something else and it's, wow, that's... <laughs> That's terrific. So he's able to do that over and over again. I don't, and I don't say that about a lot of people. We are now in a new age of being able to edit our genomes. CRISPR-Cas is a precision-guided scalpel. We can remove pieces of a genome, for example, to inactivate a gene or to kill a virus. Now, coupling that with additional technologies allowed us to now insert pieces of DNA into the genome. And this is the basis for the gene editing revolution, the ability to precisely cut and insert pieces of DNA. There are over 150,000 different kinds of mutations that cause different diseases. And so part of the problem is being able to develop therapies that can target all of these mutations. We can make a lot of RNA production for all the diseases disease, yeah, like a cancer or cystic fibrosis. Uh, we can make a new RNA production for uh, other disease. As a molecular biologist, I want my research to have impact at scale. So by having this foundational technology, we can have an impact beyond any one disease. We are now starting to leverage artificial intelligence and large data sets for some of the questions that have always been at the forefront of my lab's research. We are now not limited by the kinds of proteins that nature has evolved. We can now go beyond that using generative AI to create completely new protein classes never before seen by nature that can include capabilities for this unconstrained, precise gene editing, ultimately going into the clinic. To think outside the box becomes extremely important for genome editing, but you also have to be diligent enough to follow it through to completion and overcome all the problems along the way. And you know, those are characteristics that Ilya has. Perhaps the most rewarding aspect of my job is the ability to mentor the next generation of scientists. They are the force multipliers that make this science so rewarding. And each of them will go on to do amazing things. We live through a revolution every decade. That's why I'm so excited to be a molecular biologist. A great scientist is, is one that continues to be curious about their world. We want to think big. We don't want to shy away from challenges. If it doesn't exist, that's where I get excited. <laughs>